so I got my area where I'm going to put my tent uh, all packed down with my snowshoes. I'm going to let it set up for about about an hour before I set the tent up. I guess it's called sintering. Uh, apparently after you pack it down all the snow molecules kind of settle in together and freeze instead of being all fluffy they're more compact. That's the theory anyway. So I'm going to give that a shot and see how it goes. So this afternoon and tonight my tools of the trade are this my uh, Husqvarna axe. It's a 26 inch handle, hickory handle that I've shaved down quite a bit. Linseed oil. I put this paracord wrap up here. Um, it's good Swedish steel though. It's uh, very nice. And I think it's, a, it's affordable for like 80 bucks. It's well balanced. It's, it's pretty cool. I love it. And my Agua Canyon Boreal 21 saw. I love this saw. So that's, those are the tools I'm using today. So I got it about, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes before the uh, sun sets. So I'm going to set the tent up now before it gets dark. It's just easier. Nothing fancy, but it's just easier when it's not dark. Um, I got some wood for the fire pit for a couple hours anyway. It's really going good now. I'm trying to get a good bed of coals for, for dinner. And then I got a bunch of really nice hardwood here for the stove. I just got to split it up some and get some more. But I just want to get the tent set up, like I said, before it gets dark. Peace. So... Boy, it got dark quick. Holy cow. Got a nice pitch, so a nice setup. Haven't got the stove going yet. I've been doing other things. Um, yeah, stove's ready to go, though. Gonna fire that thing up in a few minutes. Got some really nice split, split oak right there, ready to go. Pack over there. Check that out. I'm, I'm going to use this cot. Um, I think it's a good idea in uh, winter to get up off the ground. Even though I got, you know, the, the Z-Lite and an insulated pad in my uh, 
Western Mountaineering sleeping bag. I'll be warm. I'm not worried about that, but it's just kind of cool. Fits in here perfect. It's a, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. I got a lot on Amazon. It was like 79 bucks. Goes together real easy. Obviously, it fits in this tent. It can go along the back wall there too if you want, but plenty of room in here for one, one person in gear. Yeah. So, like I said, the stove's all ready to go. I'm going to uh, go out here, though, and get to the main fire. So i got to cook some dinner. Uh, let's see what the temperature is here. Outside. It's not that bad. It's just, let's see. Yeah, 22 degrees. Not too bad. I got a same kind of thermometer in the tent, so we'll check that out later. So yeah, I'm trying to get a good bed of coals here. To right now, I'm on some snow for water. I have some, but I just want some for the morning. Yeah, I got a really good bed of coals there. I'm gonna cook up a little steak, onions, mushrooms. Nothing fancy. Right there. Whoa, it's kind of bright. There it is. Some butter. What's that? Check that out. Fiddlehead IPA. Those are really good. Big potato action. Yeah, baby. Mushrooms. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of crap from people cutting on this uh, five box pie plate, but really not putting much pressure on there. And the funny thing is, you can always resharpen it, it's not a big deal. Excuse me.
starving. I haven't eaten since this morning. It's about 6.30, I think, right now. You know, I think one onion's good. That's good. I don't need more than that. Butter. Garlic powder. Black pepper. And salt. This is a New York strip steak. I really wish you could smell this. Yum. Wow, that's looking pretty good. I checked one of the potatoes, they're not even close, so I'll just eat the onions and mushrooms and that delicious steak and uh, save those for later. I'll just let them cook and get them later. Maybe I'll have them for breakfast with eggs or something. Yeah. Well, it's overdone. Oh well. Yeah, it's overdone. I got preoccupied uh, getting the stove going in the tent. but It's really tender. Really tender. It's gonna taste good still. 
but I ruined it. But you know what? <clears throat> Out in the in the elements, it's gonna taste just fine. Just fine. Mushroom. Mm. Really good. Yum. Boy, that's good. Even though it's, it's overdone, it's still really good. Fiddlehead IPA. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's really good. Yum. So, I'm going to probably finish eating this. Enjoy that beer. And probably retire to the tent. I got the stove going about 15 minutes ago. And I checked the temperature on the thermometer in there. It was 22 degrees. The door is wide open, but it was already getting warm in there. So, Instead of sitting around the fire out here, I'm going to probably go in there, get all cozied up, have another beer perhaps, maybe a little something else, and um, I meant bourbon, okay? <laughs> and uh, yeah, enjoy the evening, just relax, that's what it's about, right? I've been meaning to come up here to the woodlot for a long time, uh, especially since I got my new uh, Lux Mini Peak XL and the stove, the wood stove. So, yeah, you know, testing out gear in the backyard is one thing. And this is, um, you know, a few miles away, but it's up in the middle of a 27 acre woodlot. So, it's nice. There's nobody here. It's quiet as hell. And um, it's, a, it's a nice spot to come. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to uh, retire to the tent, get all cozy and warm. And um, if I don't talk to you, I'll see you in the morning for sure. Peace. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's 27 degrees. I got a thermometer about a foot off the ground. It's hanging on my axe handle. It's about the height I am when I'm sleeping, so yeah. I'm gonna get my lantern going so I can see something in here. I'll be back. So I'm in the tent and very comfortable. I'm just uh, lounging on this close cell foam pad on the ground. I don't really want to get up in my cot in the bed yet, in my bag yet. Not really ready to go to bed. It's only like 7.30. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. It's close to 8 o'clock. But yeah, boy, it warmed up quick in here. It's uh, 17 degrees outside right before I came in here. And let me show you. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, like I was saying, sorry, the temperature in here is, let's see, fifty four degrees right now, and the stove's just truly cranking up right now. It's been burning for 
uh, about an hour but I really haven't been focusing on it so yeah and that's about the height of my cot right there as you can see so very comfortable in here even at that temperature like I said earlier all my gears over there my pack my axe my saws outside I couldn't finish that food um, got another beer waiting over there got two, two now jeans of water upside down so the cap doesn't freeze Good, melted about a liter of snow earlier. So I'll have plenty of water in the morning. Enough wood here for a while. It's good oak. Split up little pieces. Stove's cranking. Really liking this little stove. Um, plenty of room. Look at all the room over there. I'm not even using all that space. I had the cot over there going that way. You know, over there. But I didn't like it. Just didn't feel right. So now I have it going so I can face the stove. And when I go to bed, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move the cot closer to the center pole just to get, get some more room. Um... Yeah, I'm just rambling now, but yeah, super cozy in here, man. Super cozy. Cheers. So the stove hasn't melted that snow down to the ground there. I cleared that out when I first started. I figured it was going to sink down anyway. So I might as well get down there, right? It drops the stove a little lower, but at least there won't be too much of a puddle there, you know what I'm saying? So far it's nice and dry. Guess I'm gonna stoke that baby up again. A refreshing five degrees this morning. Good morning all sun coming up over there there's my setup again it looks like a bomb went off stuff everywhere but yeah decided to get this fire going here so as I pack away I can warm my hands up on this nice fire so that would be really welcome Yep. So yeah, it's frosty. Five degrees. Slept pretty good. I only had the stove going in the tent for until uh, about I think 10:30. Then I let it die out, get some sleep, and uh, yeah, just gonna pack up now, take my time, and um, take it from there. We'll hike out of here in a couple hours probably. All right.
Hey guys, <clears throat> while I'm picking up, I figured I'd talk about gloves and uh, mittens and stuff for a minute. Usually around camp, or even at home when I'm doing firewood, I like to use these. I'm not really sure what they're called. They're rubber, the black here is rubber, and the back is just a material, but they're super grippy, easy to grab. They, they keep your hands fairly warm too. Um, so that's what I use around camp here, but I just wanted to show you these. I've had these for uh, four or five years now, and these are military um, trigger finger cold weather gloves. And let me just show you one. You can get these on eBay. I, I think I paid 11 or 14 bucks for a, they're brand new in the package. <clears throat> They've got a, I believe it's cowhide leather inner, if you will, or palm. And this is a fairly heavy duty canvas material. And they come, the thing I like about them is they, you can, you can jack them up all the way up to here. And I use these when I snow blow the driveway because it keeps snow from getting up everywhere. And it's got a cinch, you know, a, a cinch band around the wrist area to keep the draft out. And you don't need this trigger finger. You can, there's plenty of room in the, in the finger box for all your fingers except for your thumb so I rarely use that it's just the way they are and um, honestly if I was ever shooting any of my firearms with with these there's no way that's fitting in any trigger housing that I have anyway it's just too bulky but anyway so yeah these come with uh, wool 100% wool liners if you will shaped like you know four and three and one and they fit in here and they're ambidextrous or, or they go you can they're not, there's not a left or right. You can flip them around, but I don't. I don't use them. I find them extremely uncomfortable, and they're, they're actually too tight. Um, I have a large, and they're just too tight for me personally. So what I do is I have these. Uh, I have these wool mittens, and and I'm a firm believer in mittens when it's applicable. Mittens are awesome. Uh, you keeps your fingers together, so they keep you keep each other warm. And these are 100% wool mittens, and. They fit perfect in, in these uh, military surplus mittens, if you will. They fit nice. And my, name, my hands never get cold. Um, and they don't really show any signs of wear at all. I do treat these with a leather conditioner on occasion. But yeah, what a bargain. I, uh, I saw these on YouTube somewhere, I don't remember, a few years ago. and I. I looked on eBay and sure enough, I think they were 14 bucks, brand new in the package. So yeah, check them out if you're ever in need of some mittens slash gloves. All right. All right. Camp's all picked up. Got my huge winter pack ready to go. Um, yeah, gonna head out where the tent was. Beautiful day, just gorgeous. Yeah, gotta get the sun sunglasses out. But yeah, I'm going to hike out of here. Had a great time. Um, no real mishaps. I did kind of melt the Nalgene ball a little bit. Got it too close to the fire, but it's still intact. It's just not pristine. <laughs> That's happened before though, right? At least I have. All right. I am going to head out of here. Thanks for coming along. And um, we'll see you next time. All right, peace, man.